So, what's up for today? I would like to test this new plane called Skybus A1 just to get a little distraction from the rocket stuff powered by those four Weasley engines producing enough thrust to get this boy into air. On top of that it has a little cargo bay for equipment to put in, a cabin for 16 passengers and in the front a little section for solar panels and antennas. The plane's mass is around 85 tons with a delta V of 60 to 70 thousand meters per second. So let's get to the runway. Let's just switch on the first pair of engines. Looking good so far and the next pair. And you can see we have 40 tons of CH4 on board. Oxidizer is not needed for those engines. Hand brakes off and here we go. We are about to reach V1 and lift off slowly. Gears up. Nose up a little bit more, SAS on, and I will put down the authority limiter of the rudder here since we don't need so much. Go down to, uh, let's say, 10%. This should be enough. And we're gaining a good amount of altitude, and we haven't even reached the end of the runway yet. There is a vessel standing on top of this little island where we can find the old airport. We will just make a little flyby to see what's over there, and then we will get back to our Kerbal Space Center. We are about 120 meters per second fast. That's not very, very quick, but I think regarding the size of the vessel, okay. Clouds are really making this game better. I will put off the SAS to have more control over the plane and use our rudders to get a nice turn. And we got our heading right so far, so I will switch on the SAS again. So unfortunately we cannot see the island anymore. Slow down a little bit, go to 60%, lower our altitude so we can see something again. The Kerbal Space Center right behind us. 18 kilometers far away, but we still can't see sh Yeah, I can see a lot right now. There's the island, okay. Adjust our route a little bit. We are quite fast for our approach. Seven kilometers left, almost there. Mandarin Kerman definitely enjoying the flight and we can already see the tower of the old airport. I will switch off the SAS for a second to get the alignment for the runway right. We should see the craft parking there. SAS on so we can switch to the other plane real quick while we do our flyby. I hope they implement more buildings during the development of KSP2 on this airport. Get up above three to four thousand meters for our flight back to the Kerbal Space Center. The good thing with those Weasley engines, they don't take a lot of fuel, so we could stay in the air for hours, I guess. Some indicators would be so helpful for approaching the landing sites. And this is the real plane where I got the idea from with the four engines in the back. The first long-haul jet aircraft from the Soviet Union era, the Ilyushin Il-62. Lower our altitude. I don't know where to aim for, but <laughs> hopefully as soon as we are through those clouds in front of us. And we can see the runways and we are still way too high. Lower the power so we can glide towards our runway. And now we have clear sight. Let's just try to align ourselves with the runway. Switch off the SAS. Speed and altitude looks good so far. Power up to 20-30% and gears down. How do you want me to land with those gears? So we're gonna land on our tiptoes. Speed looks right, thrust a little bit more and just make it smooth. Touchdown. And reverse thrusters and a little bit more to the left. Don't get off the runway, please. And we are still on our tiptoes. This looks very, very good. And I will not break with the tires because they are so buggy too. But the reverse thrust is doing its job. Come to a halt without destroying... Ooh. 
this went far better than I've expected. Handbrakes on and we are safely back down on Earth. Quite successful test and I'm looking forward for more missions with this bad boy. So once again, thank you very much for joining me here in this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Looking forward to have you back on board here in KSP2. Thanks for watching and as usual, take good care of yourself.